in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. I seek refuge in him from the accursed Satan, the one who deviates and the one who misguides. Salutations upon the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, and his holy progeny, the Imams from the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam, peace be upon them all. Salutations upon the third holy Imam, Sayyidu Shuhada Aba Abdullah al Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam. Salutations upon him until the days turn into nights and the nights turn into days. Salutations upon him, he upheld the truth and he and his faithful followers went to the fields of Karbala so that the truth may be upheld. Salutations upon the, third, the last Imam, Hazrat Hujjat, Hazrat Baqiyatullah, Ajal Allah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif, the Imam, the Muntadar, the one whom we await, who will fill this earth with justice and equality, just as it is filled with injustice and inequality. We await so that we may be among those who help him in his battle against the Qufr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran that وَوْعَدْنَا مُوثَ ثَلَاثِينَ لَيْلَةً وَعَتْمَمْنَا بِهِ عَشَرٍ فَتَمَّا مِيْقَاتُ رَبِّي أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلَةً وَقَالَ لِأَخِي هَارُونَ هَارُغْ نَخْفِلِّي فِي قَوْمِ وَأَصْلِي وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا سَبِيلَ الْمُفْسَدِينَ Allah says in Surah Al-A'raf that we promised Musa the nights so that he may remain there and he stayed there for 40 nights and we gave him his brother Harun so that we left Harun with the Ummah so that he could do their Islah, he could help them and they should not be on the path of those who were the Fasid. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Salamun alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are here today to commemorate the 40th day of the Arba'een of Imam Hussain alayhim salam. Karbala has a beautiful meaning and it talks about the Qarb and the Bala, the land where there is miserable misery, the land where Imam Hussain was slaughtered without food and water. Among the rights of a believer that he should be, according to Imam Hassan Asqari alayhi salam, Imam says that there are certain things that a mu'min should do. And among those things which the mu'min should do is that he visits Imam Hussain on the Arba'een. So what is this Arba'een? Arba'een is 40 and there are many things which happened in the past in history that talk about the Arba'een. It is said that for any spiritual guidance, if you train your soul for 40 days, you can achieve your goal. There are many incidents regarding the number 40 in the Quran, as I gave you the ayat for about Hazrat Musa. Same goes that Hazrat Isa, he walked with his Havariyun in the desert for the same number of time. In fact, for the moment in the time of Ghaibat of Sahib al Zaman, alayhi salam, the recitation of Dua Ahad for 40 mornings is definitely a guarantee that we will meet the Imam of the time. As we say in Dua Ahad, Allahumma in hala baini wa baina hul maut. O Imam, if, my, if death comes between me and you, then take me out from my grave. And Allahumma arini tala'at al-rashida wal ghurrat al-hamida. Show me your beautiful countenance and your blessed face. So Karbala and Arba'een 
and we gather here. Today, I will just discuss about the benefits of meeting and the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. So just to talk about a few traditions from Kamil al-Ziyarat about the merits of Karbala. One day, the Ravi is uh, relating that I asked Abu Abdullah Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salwatullah wa salamu alayhi and I heard him speak and the Imam asked his friend, do you go to the ziyarat of Abu Abdullah al Hussein?" And the man said, yes, I go a day or two, uh, uh, two or three years, once in two or three years. And Imam said, I swear by Allah, if you, if you go to his ziyarat frequently, you will be in a better state than you were. Because the man said that he did not have money. So he could not go to the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. The Imam said, had I told you the fazilat of this ziyarat, had I told you the fazilat of the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, none of you Shia would ever do anything else but go to ziyarat. Allah says that the hajj is wajib, but the ziyarat, who saved the ziyarat? Like who saved the hajj if it was not for Imam Hussain alayhi salam? And Allah says that if it was not for the dust of Karbala, I would have not honored you, O land of Makkah. The land of Makkah was speaking that he was more glorious. And then Allah says that Karbala is more glorious. And it says that create, calm down and be humbled because I have made the land of Karbala higher in esteem than any of the lands. And it is said that Allah created this land 24,000 years before he created the Kaaba. And to come to this ziyarat, Imam says that when you die and when your ruh is taken away, it is said that the ziyarat protects you from six sides. And Safmani Jamal says that sometimes a zayir is accompanied by 700 angels. And in another tradition, he reports 1,000 angels. And then he says that any number of angels, and you go along with the Anbiya and Mursaleen to the ziyarat. And then it says that Imam Hussain alayhi salam ziyarat is like meeting Allah on the arsh Ilahi. And when the Zayr walks towards Karbala, and when he gets tired, and when his body starts to perspire, Allah creates 70,000 angels from the, the body, the perspiration of the body. And the sins are forgiven, the angels are created. And dear listeners, let me tell you this, that when a Zayr decides to come out of his home for the Ziyarat, at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates one angel and that angel is assigned to help the zawar. So when the man or the zawar starts packing his bags to leave his hometown, the angel accompanies him. He brings him on his ride, which whichever mode of transport he takes. He brings him and when he brings him, he enters Karbala. And while the Zayr is mashgul, when he is doing ibadat and he is doing ziyarat, the angel is asking for forgiveness for him. And when the angel says to Allah that now the Zayr has finished his ziyarat, what should I do? So Allah says to the angel, now you accompany him, you go with him until he reaches his hometown. So the angel goes with him up to the, the mode of transport and reaches his home. And once the Zayr is reunited with his family, he, the angel then asks Allah, Oh Allah, now the Zayr is reached home and now he's met his family. So is it possible that I, what can I do? What do you, or what do you order for me? And Allah says, you have to live by the door of the Zayr and until he lives, and until he dies, you have to sit at his doorstep and ask for maghfirat. 
And then Imam continues and says that when desire dies, when desire dies, he says that it is the ihtizar, the, the ihtizar of moth, the, the hardness and the difficulty of death is released, is become, has become easy because he was a Zayr of Hussein. And it is said that when the angel asks Allah, now that he died, now what do I do? He's dead and gone. His ghusl is done. He has been shrouded. He has been put into his grave. Now what do I do? So he says, now you have to sit by his grave and ask for forgiveness. And this is the meaning of the Zawar of Hussein. This is the meaning of Karbala. And brothers and sisters, the walk from Najaf to Karbala. Allah blessed me with this opportunity this year that I could walk between Najaf and Karbala. And when I was walking, there were many miracles that I saw. But the most beautiful miracle of all was the miracle of kindness, the spirit of giving. There were many mawkib that we passed and they would be calling us. They would be, they would be asking us to come and come and take, take food from their hands and take water. There were small children who were sitting with trays of dates upon their head in the hot burning sun and they were sitting there and they were asking the desire to eat even one date from them and I saw people's feet being massaged I saw even I was astonished that there were tailors who sat there stitching the clothes of the Zaire when it tore, when anybody's Abba tore, they were sitting and they were stitching. I even saw people repairing the strollers and the prams and the, and the, the, the trolleys that we carry. And there was so much of help to the Zawar, so much of help to the person who was walking. And I even saw that there were people who were doctors, who were nurses helping in the Maukibs, people who came with blisters, they got treated. There were so many humanitarian agencies working day and night. But the most of all were these poor Arabs who have nothing of their own, but yet opened their hearts and their homes for us. At the Maukib, they were so such good hosts to us. And they kept on asking us if we needed food or drink. And if I was hungry, she could get me food. And I remember my Mawla Hussain, who died hungry and thirsty on the fields of Karbala. And I remember Sayyida Zainab. It is said that when Sayyida Zainab and Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, one day he saw that his aunt Zainab was sitting and praying her mustahab namaz. And he asked her, oh my aunt Zainab, why did you sit and pray? And she said that in the, in the tyrant's prison, there is such little food that if I eat, then the children are hungry. And if the children eat, we go hungry. I would tell my master, my mistress, Sayyida Zainab, come to Karbala and come to Najaf and come see the kindness of the people in the hunger at the thirst of your brother and your family, the Shias have opened up their hearts for you. O oh, Zawari Hussain, how lucky are you that you get every comfort on the road, on the street. And we were looking and we were amazed at the miracles. Let me tell you one small miracle that I think really moved me. While I was walking on the street, the Najaf to Karbala walk. As soon as I was, I looked around and I saw that there were many Mawkibs by the name of Aima alayhi salam. It was the day of Wednesday and that day is designated to Imam Musa ibn Jafar, Sahib al Qadhmain, Imam Musa ibn Jafar alayhi salvatullah wa salam alayhi. And I realized to myself that how come I never saw a single mawkib in the name of the seventh holy imam. And then I had barely walked a few feet, a few steps. And there I see a big banner that welcomed me and said, Assalamu alaikum ya babul hawaij ya Musa ibn Jafar alayhi salam.
And I was astonished that this was a thought that just crossed my mind. And here it is, the banner which I was looking for. And in the same way, there were so many miracles. I cannot even explain to you what it is said that when you walk from Karbala, from Najaf to Karbala, it is said that your every hajat is fulfilled. And believe me, if I sit and explain each hajat of mine that I walked and I asked, it would take me the whole night. But Azizan, I have to tell you this, that this was the kindness which the people gave, which the people brought across. And so can you imagine when this walk will happen, when Hazrat Khujjat Ajalallahu Ta'ala Faraj Sharif will reappear, and when he comes, can you imagine there will be one banner. Today, it is Hussein who calls us. And we say, Labbaik Ya Hussein. We call Imam Hussein. And we say, Yes, Mawla, we are present. And we have answered your call. And we have told his mother, Zahra, Abad Wallah, Ya Zahra, Manin Sa Husayna. We will never forget your Hussein, O Zahra. So when Imam Hussein from Karbala calls us, and we have responded, and here we see today more than 30 million people on the streets of Karbala. Nothing scares us. There is nothing in the world that can keep a Shia away from his master Hussein's visit in Karbala. I saw people sleeping on the streets. It's been raining the whole day today. And there are men and women and children. And as I speak, my tears won't stop. And I have seen such scenes that I cannot even explain. I have seen children sitting on the streets and they have been just one word on their lips, their weeping eyes. They look at the haram of Hussein and they say, Labbaik Ya Hussein. They eat whatever they get. They drink whatever they can. But O oh Allah, you accept from us. And it is said that when Imam Zaman salam will come, and may the time of reappearance be fast, O Mawla. Allah Jal Ya Imam Zaman alayhi salam. Allah Jal Ya Sahib al Zaman. Allah Jal Ya Abul Qasim Ya Hajjat ibn al Hassan. And we ask him for the sake of Fatima. We ask you, Ya Rabb al Hussein, Ishfa Sadr al Hussein, Bidhuhur al Hajjat. Ya Rabb Fatima, Ishfa Sadr al Fatima, Bidhuhur al Hajjat. One of the names of the haram behind me is the haram of Abu al-Fazl al-Abbas, the son of Amir al-Mu'mineen. There are his titles written on the gates of the haram. One of the titles of Mawla Abbas salam, is that he is the sahib al al Hamd al Hussein. He is the one who carried the banner of Hussein. He was the alamdar. And we can imagine that when the alam will be in the hands, when the liwaul hamd will be in the hands of Hazrat Baqiyatullah, and when he will come, and when he will reappear, it is said that when Imam Zaman alayhi salam will reappear, there will be a way, there will be a, there will be a sound which will come out from the land of Mecca. And Allah will, Jibreel alayhi salam will say, that the haq has come and the batil is vanquished. The truth has been revealed and the, the falsehood has been vanquished. And surely the falsehood had to be vanquished. And at that time it is said that if any of us, we will be sleeping um, on our beds in our countries, whether it is Karbala, whether it is, whether it is Canada, whether it is India, whether it is Iran, or whether it is USA, or whether it is London, or any city of the world that we belong to, or whether it is Africa, or whether it is the East, it is said that when we will sleep on our beds, but when we wake up, we will wake up in the holy land of Makkah, and we will be accompanying Imam Zaman alayhi salam, and the, he will be leading this march. If we have seen kindness on this way of Najaf and Karbala, and we saw 
saw people treating us with love and with affection and with mercy, there will be times fold the mercy. And this is just a drop in the ocean what we have seen. Let us pray that Imam Zaman comes as soon as he can and Allah allows him so that when he comes, this revolution and this march comes towards its final end. And he is Muntaqim Karbala. As he says in Ziyarat al Nahiya, Salam upon my father, whose head was cut and then raised upon the lance. Salam upon those blood smeared cheeks. Salam upon the heads that were raised on the lances. Salams upon the bodies that were mutilated by the horses' hooves. Salam upon those uh, that Imam whose throat was slit while he, while Shimr was sitting upon his chest. Salam upon the one who was made to cry before he was killed. Salam on the parched lips and salam upon those who died on the fields of Karbala. على لعنة الله خيال القوم الظالمين سيعلم الذين ظلموا أي من قلب ينقلبوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون Oh Allah for the sake of Hazrat Hujjat أجل الله تعالى فرجق الشريف hasten the reappearance of Imam Zaman for the sake of Bibi Fatima to Zahra سلام الله عليها for the sake of Sayyida Zainab سلام الله عليها for the Shahzadi, for the small princess of Sham, Sayyida Ruqayya bint al Hussein alayhi salam. O oh Allah, for the sake of Karbala and for the sake of the of Fatima Zahra's broken ribs, let there be the zuhur of Imam Zaman. And for the sake of the safety of the moment and the moment out all over the world, let the reappearance be faster, O oh Mawla. And O oh my master, I plead you and I beg of you so that you may make me among those who help you and make me upon make me among one of those who are your Ansar who help you and who help just the way the Imam was helped by his 72 followers Oh Allah make us among the helpers of Sahib Zaman alayhi salam Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi